Okay, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, today I thought we'd do a little quiz. A little quiz to find out what my bookish red flags are. Yeah, I don't know. Do I have some? Do I don't? I don't know. I don't know. So I thought we'd take this little, uh, little quiz to find out and, um, yeah. We'll, we'll take it from there, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's take the quiz. Okay, first one. Your current read isn't really working for you. You already DNF'd it. You will console yourself by buying a new book. You probably just need to come back to it later. You muddle through because you are no quitter or you will pick it up next time you can't sleep. Ooh, interesting. Well, I'd probably just come back to it later because I don't really DNF and I mean, yes, I, I, do, I would love to buy myself new books, but we're not doing that right now. <laughs> Depend. I mean, I would muddle through as well because I'm not, I'm not a quitter. Am I? Am I? Maybe I am. I don't know. Either, yeah, probably just come back to it later or muddle through. I, I'm, I'm gonna say probably just gonna come back to it later. When do you take your reading breaks? At the end of a chapter, usually when you're falling asleep reading, whenever you don't feel like reading anymore, you're, finish, you're a finish a book in one sitting kind of person, most times, when the story is starting to get confusing or too heavy. Mm, I very, very rarely just sit down and read one book throughout i mean if it's a if it's a short book yes i can do that but like 500 page fantasy book i don't think so um i'm gonna have to say at the end of a chapter because i like to read chapter to chapter i on occasion i will like end in the middle of a chapter because uh, I need to pee or I am falling asleep or for some reason or another the bus is stopping and I need to get off I don't know um, but I do try to go from chapter to chapter so I always have like this is where I'm starting um, yeah so I'm going with that uh, where do you keep your TBR <laughs> where do you keep your TBR you don't really have one that's a lie by the bed I mean, I have my currently reading books by the bed. So technically, yes, I guess. Um, in a book cart or in a designated space by your shelf, that's going to be me. Amongst all the other books, I could never have like all my read and unread books mixed together because I would not keep track of what I had to read and not to read um, because you, you know you can keep track like online on Notion or Goodreads or in a notebook or whatever but there's something about being able to look at it that just likes okay yes this is what I have this is what I don't have <laughs> well, I, well I do have all my read books as well but there's something about like, just looking at it knowing I've read all of these books I can read them whenever I want again but I've read them and these are my, my book cards right there. <laughs> these are my unread books and this is what I have to pick and choose from to make them go live over here. <laughs> or in your e-reader. I don't have an e-reader so I don't have a TBR on that. Um, so yeah, in a book cart. All my unread books are in my book cart. Uh, I had, do have some on my shelves on the other side of these shelves. Um, there are some like big hardback books there. but. That is a designated space on my shelves, I guess. Uh, it's not, they're not mixed together. <laughs> uh, so, in a book cut on a designated space on your shelf. Tom, what is it? Baby boy. When you visit a bookstore, you make a budget beforehand and stick to it. Sure. <laughs> you always say you're not gonna buy anything, but always come up with books. I think most times, yes, but I have gone to the bookstore a couple of times and not come out with any books. Um, for whatever reason, I I can do that. <laughs> you have no trouble leaving empty handed. Yeah, I guess that goes hand in hand with the first, with the second, with the second answer. 
um, you make a budget and forget about it as soon as you walk in. That sounds like me, yeah. <laughs> you spend hours and hours there deciding what to buy. I mean, there's, it's a, between like number four and number five, like I, I don't really make a budget. Um, I don't really make a budget. I can't say I do that. Um, I do have a list with like books I would like to get and then I try to figure out what I can possibly buy. <laughs> um, so I guess number five. A friend lends you a book, you. Return as soon as you're done with it. You start reading it immediately. Im <laughs> you start reading it immediately, possibly. You probably forget to read it for months. Possibly that one. <laughs> you somehow manage to wreck it and have to buy your friend a new one. I don't think that would ever happen, but if some accident were to happen, yes, I would buy them a new one and then uh, uh, another book just to, you know, hit. <laughs> You return it in pristine condition. Yes, I would do that. Um, it's not necessarily, I don't know if I'd like read it straight away. It depends on like my mood, I guess. Cause, oh, when is the last time I actually lent a book from a friend? I think it was when I was in school. And okay, so I was at a sleepover at a friend's house and uh, I didn't really have any book to read so I, I, she lent me one and I started reading it and I got really into it almost didn't go to sleep <laughs> but then I came went home the next day and I did read it and it was a week and I think so I gave it back on the Monday after <laughs> in the same condition she lent it to me and then I think I went out and actually bought the book myself. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Return in Pristine Condition because, well, for one, I don't think I've actually lent a book from someone since like seventh grade. So that, it's been a while. Um, but otherwise I would return it as soon as I'm done with it. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Pristine Condition. <laughs> Oh, this is not gonna happen, okay? Uh, now it's your turn to lend a book to a friend. You have no trouble lending books, but definitely want them back. I definitely want them back, but I do have trouble lending them in the first place, so probably not that one. You would rather get them a copy of it and than lend your own books. Yeah. <laughs> you soon forget about a book. I would never forget about my books. <laughs> You keep a list with all the books you've lent and who has them. I mean, if I do lend out books, I would do that, yes. You won't rest until you get it back. Yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with two because I don't actually lend out books. Uh, anytime I've lent out a book, I've not gotten it back. So I'm going to have to, would rather get them a copy of it than lend your own books because I don't want to buy myself a new copy every time someone borrows my book and doesn't give it back. Have you ever bought a book that you already own? <laughs> No, more times than you care to admit. Yes, but on purpose, different edition, wanted an extra copy, etc. Uh, yes, but you only owned a digital copy of it. You don't think so, but it's possible you did. So, um, the middle choice is me. Yes, I have bought, <laughs> I have bought a book I already own, but it has been a different edition. Um, usually don't think I have any book that's like the same edition and if I do it's because someone else have given me a copy of some book I already own those are the only times I have the same edition um so yes but on purpose definitely on purpose are you a library user <laughs> oh <laughs> um yes you get more books from the library than brand new no Yes, but you buy more often. No. And yes. <laughs> you buy as many, you buy as much as you borrow from the library. Yes, and you usually bring home a very optimistic amount of books. Um, no. <laughs> so the only, like, one I can go with on this one is no. I don't go to the library. Um, I don't like the library. Well, I do. <laughs> 
So, I like the idea of the library, okay? But I've had some things happen. <laughs> I, uh, disgusting books. Other people have done disgusting things with said books and then I've held them in my hands and seen these disgusting things. So, so yeah, I, I'm not a fan of like my local library. Also, my local library, if I were to like go and get a book from there and show you, you would know exactly where I am. <laughs> and that's not safe because they like to like stamp the the whole book you can basically not see what the freaking book is because it's just stamped with the name of the library like why why do you need to do that that's just annoying who am rogue my answer is uh, no do you have a monthly budget for books that would actually be a good thing but no i don't uh let's see the answer is sometimes no absolutely stick to it yes but you always overspend if I had a budget, I would definitely be overspending, but no, I don't have a budget, although I haven't bought any books in a while, so. Does pre-orders pre count? No, I'm not counting those. Your ideal bookish date would be meeting for coffee at a bookshop cafe. Adorable. Bookstore crawl, yes. Favorite author event? No, I think I prefer to go to those alone because anytime I'm with someone I know at an author of event. Bad things happen. No, not bad things, but I tend to get embarrassed by the person who's there with me. Mum. Visit each other's favourite bookshop and buying a mystery book for each other. Oh my god, I want that. I want that. Bringing your favourite books to a park, exchanging them and spending the afternoon reading them together. That's adorable. Oh, I, I, I like all these choices. I'm gonna go with visit each other's favorite bookshop and buying mystery books for each other because then you get a, like a sense of who the other person is as well. Like if you say, oh, I'm gonna buy you the book I think you should read because it's my favorite book or whatever. Um, I'm gonna go with that one. That sounds amazing. Actually, all of them sounds adorable, but that one sounds amazing. Also, you don't have to talk a lot. Choose a book trope. Oh. Enemies to lovers. Stuck together. There is only one bed, etc. Flat here is... yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fake relationship. Forbidden love. Soulmates. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm gonna go with fake relationship because I don't know because after all of them, it sounds like it could be a comedy. Yeah, let's go with that. What do you love most about books? Getting lost in them for hours on end, talking about them with other people, getting to learn more about the world and about other people's experiences through them, the pure joy they bring you, the comfort they give you, especially favourite stories. Oh, oh yeah, ooh. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's either getting lost in them for hours on end, the pure joy they bring me just by being there, or the comfort, yeah. No, I'm gonna have to go with the comfort because, oh, it's just something about Joe's favourite stories that you can just, you can, always go back to them and it's always like it's like coming home and being wrapped in a nice cozy blanket and all oh, yeah comfort comfort well so my bookish red flag is you buy more than you can read sure i want to argue against this okay I want to argue against this because I have more read books than I have unread books. <laughs> the the percentage actually is low. <laughs> but fine, yeah, I'll take it. I don't know what the other results are, but it would be fun to know, like, um, can you look? Oh no, I don't think you can see, but yeah. So I apparently buy more books than I can read. I mean, it sounds about right, but also I have more read books than unread books. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I take offense. <laughs> So, um, have you done this quiz? Um, if you have, can you, let me know what you got because I'm curious to see what else other, which other answers there are to, to the quiz as it were. And if you want to go try the quiz out for yourself, I will leave a link down below. Ooh. And, uh, I mean, let me know what your answer is because I, I want to know what the other the other results are <laughs> what more can you get what more can you get so thank you so much for watching i shall see you all next time until then take care bye bye